Hey guys, welcome to BP the Bible Perspective. I want to share a few thoughts on the Tulsa riots of 1920. You know, they tell us that we should pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. Well, we did, and they burned the city. Now, before we get into it, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you ever thought a comment, add it to the comments section below. All comments are welcome. Um, you know, I'm continue to be amazed at kind of the resistance of telling the American true history. Now, of course, we kind of break it up into African American history and then American history. Now, the reason why we do that is because those who are telling history are not telling the true American history. And so, therefore, you need black history, just like you need uh, Black History Month because what? They're not telling the truth. And one of the ugly stains and then ugly things of racism in our nation, this is another issue that they don't want to tell. This is one of the reasons why you see such an uproar over critical race theory. BML, Black Lives Matter, 1619 projects. And why some of those things could be objectionable, some of the point. That's not really why people are upset over it. It's what the truth that comes out of uh, these stories. And one of the most horrendous story was the Tulsa riots of 1920. This story was kind of so strange that what you had was a prosperous black part of the city. It was called the Black Wall Street. Now, just just show you, a lot of people didn't even know about this, and I think people it piqued everybody's interest when a show called Watchmen was aired on HBO, and then people go, "What? There, there was a Black Wall Street, and it was destroyed by a white mob. Three hundred some people died. Something even unusual. They actually had planes that were bombing a section of the city, and they wiped out." this prosperous part of the city. Now you may ask why, and this is something that, again, we don't want to talk about. Jealousy. See, as I said, when they tell us that we should pick up, um, we should pull ourselves up by the bootstraps, they should also forget to tell us, you keep taking the boots, cutting off our legs, the lynchings, and all in some cases because of jealousy. Now, believe it or not, that wasn't the only massacre. There were literally dozens of massacres where white mobs would destroy sections of cities. Another famous one was called Rosewood. But there was, again, there was a lot more throughout the nation where white mobs become angry. And the question is why? Why are people are so resistant to tell the stories? And why did they do it? Because see, racism is a part of our DNA. And the reason why people are so upset over the teaching of critical race theory in, in the 1619 Project is because they tell these stories. And it also tells us really what this nation is about. You see, we oftentimes we hear the propaganda side, the propaganda stories of America. But you don't hear stories like this. And I'm most sort of disappointed in a lot of my Christian brothers because they talk about critical race theory, their opposition against it. But what about these horrendous stories of the Tulsa massacre? So, you know, what's interesting about the Tulsa uh, massacre was that there are descendants who are alive today both white and black by the way white who are descendants of those who attack and destroyed the city um, blacks who survived who were young at the time when one lady the 107 years old bless her soul right but you see wealth that was transferred, the, the, the very land that was seized and destroyed, right? Who owns that land today? If you wanted to say we're going to make a good case for reparations, there it is. You see, there are stories where we never, ever made right racism. 
not the white wash sanitized version of what people say well we did make it right no we didn't laws changed people's hearts didn't Tulsa reminds us that hey you know what even after the Civil War hearts didn't change and what you saw was a system that allowed them to destroy in other words this black community were minding their business they were prosperous though white people didn't like it I'll say this no not all white people were bad at every every turn every level of the civil rights struggle there have been God-fearing good-hearted whites struggling right alongside but we have to tell these dark stories because they're real as I said a lot of people didn't even know about the Tulsa riot there was another mass massacre that happened around the same time in fact there was the thing called the legacy of the Red Summer where there were just mobs all over the country destroying attacking black people another one that came to light was Rosewood in Florida later popularized in a movie uh, directed by John Singleton he told the story about a, again about over a lie and people only use these lies just to carry out again their hatred and their jealousy of black people you see these stories need to be told so that we can really know the truth if you really want to change you have to tell the truth anyway that is my perspective don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to bp the bible perspective and as always if you ever thought a comment add it to the comment section below all comments are welcome till next time i'll see you then